next guest tonight is a very funny comedian that you can see at the Comedy Cellar right here in New York City. Please welcome John Fish. Thank you, guys. New York City. Yeah. I've been living here almost uh, 15 years, and I feel like I've become really entitled, but I've also had to lower my standards. <laughs> it's like a weird yin yang thing, you know? Like, if you're from New York and you come to my apartment, you're impressed. <laughs> but if you're not from New York, you're like, are you okay? <laughs> Are you aware your mattress touches three of the walls in your bedroom? <laughs> bedroom. <laughs> I am uh, starting to think I go to the sushi restaurant in my neighborhood too much because when I got these new glasses, they were the first ones to notice. <laughs> uh, I usually go by myself, but I threw them off one day. I come in, they're like, table for one. I'm like, no, I'm meeting a friend. And I swear to God, the guy goes, he has friends! <laughs> to the whole restaurant. <laughs> and then I had to wait five minutes for my friend. I'm like, great, they think I have an imaginary friend. <laughs> Other weird stuff has happened to me at this place. Last year, they gave me a Christmas present. I'm just sitting there eating. They brought me a wrapped bottle of sake. They're like, Merry Christmas from everybody at Watawa. <laughs> I'm like, all right, thank you, but I do not know what is sadder right now, uh, that a restaurant just gave me my only Christmas gift, <laughs> or that these people, who I guess are my best friends, <laughs> keep forgetting that I am Jewish. <laughs> I have a brother, he's also Jewish. <laughs> he married a, uh, an Italian Catholic lady, and they have two kids, two little girls, and they decided to raise them both Jewish. Totally ignoring my suggestion of raising one of them Jewish, <laughs> and the other one Catholic, and then we'd get to see who wins. <laughs> I love my nieces, they are adorable. Uh, my older niece is 11, she's very funny. She's already a little jaded, somehow. She came up to me out of nowhere one day and just goes, so, uh, where's your family? I'm like, well, you're my family. She goes, no, you're real family. I'm like, don't you think if I had kids, I would introduce you to them at some point? She goes, I don't know, and just walked away. <laughs> I don't know, don't need an answer, just wanted you to think about your life for a little while. <laughs> We're all not impressed. <laughs> My life's weird to her, I get that. I'm 43, I'm not married. I kind of thought I'd be divorced by now. I've been dating divorced women lately, which happens in my age bracket. <laughs> and there's that saying, all the good ones are taken. Good news, everybody. They'll be back. <laughs> Even my buddies are getting divorced now, which is weird. It's like we're living the same lives again, all of a sudden. <laughs> but we got there so differently. <laughs> it's like I've been on a direct flight. <laughs> Sitting in first class. <laughs> Meanwhile, they've been on a Greyhound bus for 12 years. <laughs> Just stopping at every Cracker Barrel. I have learned a lot over the years. Uh, here's something for you. From now on, when a girl tells me that she is a mess and an alcoholic, 
I'm gonna take her word for it. <laughs> You guys cheered me up. Uh, I'm at a weird place in my life. I told you, no girlfriend, no wife. All my family lives in Massachusetts. I live here. I realized recently, like, just how alone I am. Because my emergency contact is going to be surprised. <laughs> right? You get that call. You're like, wait, what? I'll be right there. My person's going to be like, Watawa Sushi, can I help you?